They're not animals, they're not plants, they belong to a kingdom all on their own. We're talking fungi, specifically mushroom coffee. What is it? What are the potential health benefits? And do I recommend it? Welcome back to our channel, Inc. Nutrition. My name is Jack, I'm a registered dietitian, and I am here to help translate the science of nutrition to help you live a healthier and happier life. Please like, comment, and subscribe for videos every week. Thanks. Mushrooms are straight up weird. They are unique. They are unlike any other food that we ingest. There are over 10,000 species of mushrooms. Holy shiitake. <laughs> And fungi is technically the largest life form on Earth when you take into account the underground mycelium network, which is also the reason why trees can communicate to each other. You gotta love a symbiotic relationship. And mushrooms are truly medicinal. That is not an exaggeration. Um, I mean, fungi is used to make penicillin. It's used to make cholesterol-lowering medications, uh, other antibiotics, other drugs, and there's this whole field called mycotherapy now, which is really dedicated to just mushrooms and how they can potentially elicit health benefits. But let's talk about mushroom coffee, right? First off, what is it? You know, it's not going to the store, getting mushrooms and mashing those at the bottom of your coffee pot. That sounds absolutely nasty. No, rather, there's these companies, these supplement companies that are catching on to these benefits of mushrooms and they are drying them and then really just pulverizing them into a powder essentially and specific varieties too, such as chaga, cordyceps, reishi, lion's mane, those are a few others. And then they are blending that with coffee grounds. Okay, so you actually have real coffee grounds mixed with this mushroom powder. So this does naturally reduce the amount of coffee that you have, right, per scoop of grounds, which does reduce the amount of caffeine that you get, but you are likely adding some nutrients. And these companies are making some pretty bold claims, such as reducing stress, reducing inflammation, strengthening the immune system, improving memory and brain health, reducing oxidative stress, and increasing energy and focus. But what's the truth, right? Well, there is some promising research that supports you know, all of those things that we mentioned, especially around immune health and brain health, but we're talking about research that uses whole mushrooms or a high quality mushroom powder that hasn't been added to the coffee beans. Now the hype around mushroom coffee is built on an untested assumption that the benefits of the mushrooms continue to exist when you process them and you brew them with coffee with all that heat and the boiling water and so forth. But having said that, I wouldn't be surprised if there are some serious health benefits from this stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of great research on mushrooms, just not a lot on the mushroom coffee component. But considering how popular this product is and how popular it's getting, I'm sure there are some good studies in the works. So stay tuned. And a note on the, you know, the claim of increased energy and focus. Well, if you're comparing it to coffee, I'm not really buying it uh, just because coffee you know, has caffeine, which is a stimulant to the central nervous system, and it blocks adenosine, which, you know, will actually keep you alert. And mushrooms don't, per se, have a compound that acts like that. I do think there's, of course, potential for long-term improved cognition, just not the stimulatory effect that you can get from coffee. So, should you try it? Well, I don't see any harm at all in trying it. You'll probably add some extra nutrients to your coffee, but don't expect to see all of those claims, you know, appear and just magically happen overnight. That's just not gonna happen. And the mushroom coffee, you know, costs about double compared to uh, just a regular, you know, bag of coffee beans. So you're gonna have to really weigh that. Is the cost truly worth it? Uh, for me, I don't think so. However, what I do recommend is eating just more whole mushrooms on a daily or weekly basis. And I'm not talking about those lame white button mushrooms. Expand your palate, add some shiitake or lion's mane or 
oyster mushrooms or maitake. Those are fantastic varieties that are gonna have a little bit more of a benefit than you know your typical white button ones. They're loaded with extra B vitamins, potassium, magnesium, copper, selenium, fiber, and vitamin D, one of the few foods that has a pretty significant amount naturally of vitamin D. So that is a bonus. Also, tons of bioactive compounds that help with anti-tumor effects, anti-diabetic effects, and all the other things that we mentioned at the beginning. So me personally, I'm gonna have my coffee with my coffee and my mushrooms with my meals. So mushrooms themselves, yeah, they're worth the hype. Mushroom coffee, I'm not yet convinced. That is what I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks always for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you disagree with anything I said, let me know. Maybe we can have a discussion going. If you want me to talk about anything else, any other trending nutrition topic, also let me know. And remember, long-term health begins in your kitchen. My name is Jack, dietitian with Inc. Nutrition, where we are all about mind, body, and food. And I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye. Medicinal. There's... So this... <laughs> Gotta love magic mushies. Why did the fungi leave the party? There wasn't mushroom. Thank you.